Hi, everyone. I'm Mike Staver. This is Mondays with Mike. Welcome back. If you're a first-time viewer, thanks for watching. Here's this week's question. It's a weekly video series where I answer questions for people just like you. Here it is. You often speak on the subject of leadership. Yeah, like every day of my life. You define leadership as influencing others. That is true. I am a new leader and feel like I have not influence. That must be, that must be, I have no influence. My boss is a micromanager and steals the credit and generously disperses the blame. How can I be influential in this environment? I'm a new leader and I feel like I have no influence. My boss is a micromanager and steals the credit and generously disperses the blame. That's really a great sentence. Steals the credit and generously disperses the blame. How can I be influential in this environment? Well, you might not be able to is the bad news. It says you're a new leader. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So first thing that I have a question I have for you is, did this boss make you the leader? If the answer to that question is yes, then you need to go to your boss and say, I appreciate the promotion. I appreciate being moved into this job. I need to know how to best perform in this new environment. How can I best support you and your leadership in my new supervisory role? What do you need from me? That's the first thing. If this boss is new and did not move you into leadership, then I would still go to the boss and say, I moved into this job with the expectation or the understanding that this was my role, that my job was to do this. Is that right? And that I would have the resources to do that. Yes, that's right. Then if they agree with that statement, say, I'm struggling because it feels like sometimes you and I are working on the same project at the same time. And I would like your coaching or mentoring or help on how we can be clear about what my job is uh, so that I know not to step over the line. Most bosses will respect that. Most bosses will respect that. Now, if they're a micromanager and they keep micromanaging you and you don't need the micromanagement now, if you're not being successful, you might need it. What you want to do is you want to just ask them, hey, look, it feels like sometimes you give me a job and I start on that job and then you jump in. And I bet then I get confused about who has the ball. Can you help me with clarity? If that continues and they disperse blame and they're a micromanager, you got to start dusting off the old resume because that isn't going to likely change. I had a boss like that years ago, years ago. My first or second job out of college, she was horrible. Stole every bit of credit, horrible micromanager, blamed everybody else, and eventually the vice president came to town because he knew it was a mess, and David said... Let's talk about it. And we got in an office and talked about it, and it was just horrific. I mean, it was horrific. And eventually, she got demoted. I went on to another job at a different company that was bad. But you got to do the right things first, right? Have a conversation, get clarity about the role, get the expectations, get the duties outlined, and then say, I just, if you could just give me a couple of days to get ahead of this and I'll bring this back. Sometimes you can help micromanagers by over micromanaging back. Could you look at this? Could you do that? Uh, that kind of thing. Hope that's helpful. If you have a question, send it to info at mikestaver.com. Love getting your questions. I will tell you that every time I get these questions and read them, I am always um, uh, respectful or admir I always admire how well thought out these questions are. Not all of them, but about 90 5% of them, you guys really send in good questions. Thanks for that. If you have a question, you can send it to info at mikestaver.com. Did I already say that? I don't remember. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. Many of you have been longtime listeners. Until next time, take care.